with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Oh, Had I right. already done the show? Was that a recording? Don't know, mate. Anyway, welcome back to another part of Alan Week 2. Playing as Alan Week. Or oh, Alec. Oh, who the hell's that? Wolfie? Oh, I don't know what it says. All right, let's just press a strange pull toward the TV. Oh my god, it's going into like real live action. What the oh. hell? Fair enough. Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Smile and wave, smile and wave. Oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? What? <laughs> what? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Um, okay, there, my friend. You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. Yes. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what... That's what that part is. It's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, a, an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a ah. horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. Eh? He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. I have an evil double? <laughs> well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? Yeah, that's, that's definitely what I'm doing. You see, Initiation tells the story of a... Oh, this is getting fucking ridiculous now. ...who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. Oh, I'm he's living that book. York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex okay, now Casey I'm... Is in this this is... Well. This is ridiculous. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously. I found the... The structure of the reality you build in the book, fascinating. It I find it confusing. Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York <laughs> through the story he is I writing. did see a tramway in one of my like visions, but projection. that's the only time did I ever I saw it. That right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. <laughs> Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Yep. Are we all in your story, Alan? Well, I didn't fucking write it, so I don't know. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. <laughs> Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. 
After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Trilogy? Is that going to be a third game? Yeah. Or do they just the name the chapters? Of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. That's exactly what's going to happen, isn't it? Rudder. Hello? This game is getting more confusing as it goes on. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. I see dark shimmering things, just like in the other realm. Or... Can I go anywhere? Hmm. Well, I don't have any weapons as this character, unlike my FBI agents, that worries me. But I assume I have more knowledge than the other What girl. the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt Yet. like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Oh, God. No more stories for you, mate. They turn out to be fucked up. Oh, I do not really want to be out in this corridor. It's giving me very... You know, haunted hospital kind of vibes. Uh, dressing room. Dressing. Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Okay, I did not expect that to play when I hit that. This one's gonna do the same? No? Okay. The worst thing about this game is not scary stuff that happens, it's not knowing what's gonna happen, the suspense of all. The way they use the sounds all the time. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh, I am. Mm. Okay, is that not more significant? Fair enough. Every time I feel like I look at something, I'm going to turn around there'll be something, but... Mm, that's not happened yet, which is... Worries me more than the actual horror part of the game. Key card. One. Okay, I don't. Hey. I'm going to need a number. I think I've been locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Hmm. Great. Well, luckily there's not too many rooms to go in. Just look around for any numbers, really. So that didn't have any numbers often, did it? No. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? Nope, nothing on there. Ah, God. I am nervous as hell. Oh, maybe it's the number on it, 665. Or is there numbers on the do not unplug? Okay. We could try 665. Maybe have something to do with the time, maybe. Well, could be even back there for all I know, but we'll try 665. Ah! Look at that! Nailed it! And it's getting darker. Oh! Oh, I don't like that one bit. I don't have a tool. There's something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. Is that me as a writer talking or what the f what or is this my, that? Is this my a evil? message? Oh, impossible to say. I don't even know what it was, just picturing me. They said I had an evil twin. Oh my god. I just don't feel safe at all. I don't have any weapon or a torch. 
There's no one about in between with Miss Mr. Door. The door. I swear they've referenced the door a hell of a lot in this game. Maybe Maybe he has something to do with everything that's going on. Do I want to go there, or do I want to go in here? We'll go in here. Yeah, oh. Why does it keep doing that? There was something in the studio with me. Don't say that. I had to get out. You have to get out. What? Can I not explore that? I kind of want to explore, but it told me to get out. Nah. Don't say that. Oh, am I just asking for death doing this? The music's picking up. <laughs> stop picking up, stop picking up, stop picking up, game saved. Okay, this is, no, this is going to go in badly. Brace for it. Oh, I'm getting followed by some sort of... to what? Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Well, you did. I don't know if that was the right, or if there was multiple options I could have done there, because there's another room I could have gone in. for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far <laughs> but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name scratch filled me with dread I could trust these words I had to act on them you must write to escape I don't even know you write a script of a game like this, it's just so mental. No, no. Okay, I can go in. Right. Part one, late night, read me. Beware, scratch, Alice. Beware, scratch, Alice. Eh? At the talk show, I thought I was home in New York. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. Okay, so I was in the dark I place. I had to I? write more. Yeah, give me a chance, man. This is my safe haven. I don't know what keeps moving. I'm writing to get out of the, the other realm, or what? Why does it keep doing that? Dark place trap, you must write to escape. Okay, I think it's just... Why does it keep making them noises? I'm not moving. It scares a shit out of me. Writing. Oh, great. Just what I always wanted to do. More writing. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show.
Can we just stop writing? How the hell am I doing this, writing a story again and again and living through it? Am I not going to go on there? Or have I got to go back in there again? Okay, so I'm either going back in there or trying to escape. Well, looks like I'm going back in there. Guess I've got to make different choices than I did last time. Maybe do the other door. Welcome back to the show. A soul. Oh, Alan. there's someone else here. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? So what? I, I know it Did I write this part? Question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he? Oh, he was the FBI guy. To you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, what? It's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, Is someone twisting my story? I don't know. I, I guess into I this nightmare. Just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Because well, I have alluded to that fact. In that case, it's just hard to keep track. Either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Right, what's this gonna be, then? This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain That's the voice I keep getting. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <sighs> I'm gonna keep living this over and over until I get the piece of information together. Okay, we know something's in here with us as well in this realm, or... So... We want to make... Either different choices, or we just got to keep doing the same thing until it... Sort of... Makes us... Change. Can I go over there? I don't know if I can go over there. Mm hmm, maybe. That's part of this curtain, isn't it? Yeah, alright. Hmm. Well, this is just gonna confuse the hell out of me if we keep having to do the same part over and over. Is this gonna be a different room? Or is this... Okay, that didn't happen last time. Or is it now a different code as well? Is this the same? Or is it a different book? That's the same book by the looks of it. So is 665 still the same code? 
No. Maybe it has to be with the jumpingness then. Five, six, five. Five, six, five, six, five. We'll try that. Five, six, five. Yep, there we go. The code changed. That's about all that's changed so far. The TV. You're going to play? Mm, no TV. That's different. Right. So instead of going right, we're going to go straight. Or try to at least. No. Hmm. Well, it's just leading me to do the same things again. Is this just going to trap me again? Because this is exactly the same choices. Oh, it worked this time. Hello? I mean, there's a voice, but we're in the dark place. Or is my character alive in the dark place? Because it's like a story realm. I do not want to deal with anything, to be fair. Uh. Why does it sound like you're getting closer? Nervous as hell. He stopped. Oh, hello. Um. Ah, no name. There you are, Tom. No name. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> what? Good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> What? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up, I go, a man's a man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> what? The man with the tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. Well, nothing makes sense. Before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't no. be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. The janitor was a bit out there. But still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Or go to a basement. Yeah, that sounds exactly where I want to go to. In a horror game. The basement. And turn on the lights. 
Here's a new. F oh, fuck. Why are they turn off? I was going to say, news flash. I can never fucking tell on the lights. Right. Can I go in here? So I'm here. Oh shit. How do I get to the basement then? Ah, oh, this way. So I need to go there and there. Okay. Oh, this will go swimmingly then, won't it? Is this door going to open? Yep. Ah, we're over here now. Oh. Yay, just what I always wanted, a dark, bloody basement. Just turn on the light, well... Oh, oh Lord Almighty. This game is not good if you've got heart conditions. Mate, he can shut up now, I don't want to deal with him. What was that? No charges. What do you mean no charges? Is it a light switch? I don't know what that's about. I don't know how to look like that either. Okay, I can't see anything here. Let's go out of the light, or into the light even. Uh, oh. It looks bright. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Someone said something about a lamp, didn't they? Oh god. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Is this torch gonna or this lamp gonna turn off now? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay. Ah. That's open. But now I don't have any blue lights. And he said turn on the light. Well, I guess I've got the thing to put down over there. Yeah. Yeah. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Hmm. Let me guess now I gotta take it to open the door. Oh. Oh well. I thought I could air breathing. Ah. Oh god, why the hell did you just do that for? <laughs> oh, I don't like it one bit, mate. We'll go this way. Hmm, don't know exactly which way is the right way. 
exit sounds good. Oh, it opens. That closed automatically. Don't exactly like that, but I'm not turning around to find out. Oh, God. Oh, no. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not a lake. The fucking what? Yes, that shit was fucking mental. I am baffled beyond anything now. I do not understand why things are happening the way they are. But I've seen to writing a bunch of stories all merging together that are making reality, and it's yeah, matters. Tell me that you love me